The future of healthcare um, and the further development of the entire healthcare sector will be mainly cost-driven. Um, health insurers, for example, predict that uh, entire medical professions might cease to exist. Let's take, for example, the profession of radiologists. It's thinkable that radiologists won't exist in the future, given that computer technology is much better in taking pictures and assessing pictures, uh, and even in making diagnosis. Another trend is telemedicines. Uh, instead of consulting their own national physicians, patients could go, for example, to well-educated foreign physicians in other countries and jurisdictions. So there's lots of solutions out there and we're seeing different players involved. It's largely, though, coming from technology and IT companies, although the more traditional healthcare and pharma companies are very interested and we're seeing them actually involve themselves in acquisition, collaboration or licensing of technologies. We're also seeing insurers coming in uh, and payers of healthcare. So in Germany, for example, we've got insurers looking at startup funds, but also in the UK, we've got the NHS getting more involved in digital health activities. From a regulatory perspective, the, the legal classification of respective e-health solutions is widely harmonized in most jurisdictions. And however, many legal questions are not yet entirely clear. Um, with respect, for example, to their approval, medical devices require a CE certification. And uh, given that many of the new solutions are AI-based, the question came up how these solutions are to be classified sometime after their actual approval, given that the CE certification only reflects their legal status at the time when it is being granted. So digital health is intricately linked with intellectual property, whether it be software, hardware, devices, infrastructure, or the data that's involved as well. They're all protectable by IP. But what's important is thinking about the interoperability because devices and digital health will need to work across different platforms. So it's really important in your IP strategy to think about licensing activities and how you can structure the system appropriately.